We are fighting a war on two fronts. We're fighting the virus, and we're fighting fear. And they are two totally different situations that you have to deal with. Uh, in many ways, the fear is more dangerous than the virus. Uh, I started working on disasters, emergency situations when I was in my 30s. My first experience was Hurricane Andrew in Homestead, Florida. And I felt it. I saw on the ground what happens when people panic. And the panic and the fear is as dangerous or more dangerous than the hurricane. Uh, I've seen it in floods. I've seen it in fires. We now have misinformation and fear and panic, which is as contagious or more contagious than the virus. And we have to deal with both of them. I've had some conversations that are just irrational with people who uh, heretofore were wholly rational. I had a conversation last night uh, with a business person from New York City who I know who uh, was panicked that New York City was going to be locked down, that there were going to be roadblocks, uh, that there were going to be uh, mandatory quarantine, he was going to be imprisoned in this house. And I said, you know, where did you hear that? Well, that's what they say. That's what I'm hearing. They're saying. Uh, and I was saying, you know, look, I would know, right? Because I would have to authorize those actions legally. It's not going to happen. Well, I hear it is going to happen. I said, but I know, but I would have to do it, and I'm telling you, I'm not doing it. It must have taken me 25 minutes just to slow him down to hear the information.